So children, right from independence, the modernization of economy, economic self-sufficiency and social justice have been characteristics of Indian economy. India wanted to acquire modernity and self-reliance by establishing industries. We wanted to establish an economy based on social justice through planning commission. For this, the National Planning Commission was established that would coordinate development through the policy of five years. So children, Planning Commission coordinated five-year plans. Economic reforms of 1991 paved the way for liberalization of the economy, also called globalization. And information technology opened new avenues of employment. The Narasimha Rao government started economic reforms from 1991. These economic reforms are called economic liberalization. The Indian economy flourished as a result of the implementation of this policy. The foreign investment in India increased. Skilled Indian professionals helped reform the Indian economy. The field of information technology opened several avenues of employment in the country. And the changes after 1991 are also described as globalization. So children, it was a very important decision which was made by the Narasimha Rao government that is the economic reforms from 1991 and the economic liberalization. As the economic liberalization it was the decision was taken that's why so many skilled people Indian professional also, the foreign investment in India increased and the skilled Indian professionals helped reform the Indian economy. So children, today, whatever I have discussed today, that is uh, the implementation of national emergency a state of national emergency on the basis of the constitutional provision relating to emergency and due to the emergency the Indian administration became disciplined but the human rights were restricted and the period of national emergency lasted from 1975 to 1977. Also, you have come to know about the what was happened on the backdrops of the emergency. Then I discussed in detail about the decade of 1980s. During this decade, the Indian political system faced many new challenges. Uh, as the Indian army was sent into the Golden Temple at Amritsar to evict the terrorists who had allegedly taken shelter there, one of the Sikh bodyguards in Indira Gandhi's personal security assassinated her. And after her assassination, 
Rajiv Gandhi, he became the Prime Minister of our country. He took the lead in solving the issues of the Tamil minority in Sri Lanka. He faced a lot of criticism in the context of corruption that took place during a defense equipment deal. Especially the purchase of long-range cannons from a foreign company called Bofors. Then, in 1991, during the election campaign, the terrorist organization in Sri Lanka, Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, that is LTTE, assassinated Rajiv Gandhi. Also, children, I have discussed about the changes after 1991. First, the government under the leadership of Prime Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao initiated many changes in the Indian economy. Then, in 1999, the National Democratic Alliance came to power under the flag of Bhartiya Janta Party and Atal Bihari Bajpayee became the Indian Prime Minister. Also, I have discussed about the Kargil War which was happened between India and Pakistan in 1999. In this war, India defeated Pakistan. Then, I have discussed about the Indian economy, that is the liberalization of Indian economy and also children you have come to know about the National Planning Commission which was established that would coordinate development through the policy of five-year plans. So children, now you should go through the topic because so many events I have discussed today, I have covered. So now you have to go through the topic. Uh, you should read your textbook. Another, the next part of the topic I will cover in my next video. Go through the topic, read your textbook carefully. And also, you should read these videos uh, carefully so that uh, the doubts, maybe if you have any doubts, I think if you go through the topic and also if you listen to the video carefully, then each and everything Whatever I have discussed today, you will be able to understand. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.